So how's it going guys, my fellow photoshoppers? I'm just sitting here, you know, making a tutorial for you guys on masks and selections within Photoshop. You know, looking at my phone, sitting next to me, waiting for some girl to message me saying that she loves me deep down. But, um, you know, that will never happen. <laughs> that will never happen. Uh, anyway, in this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to the Paths tool, or Paths tab, and the Pen tool, right down here, the Pen tool, and I'm also going to, you know, kill two birds with one stone here, and I'm going to introduce you to the Clone Stamp tool, and the Clone Stamp tool is actually what we're going to start out with. The Clone Stamp tool is very useful in Photoshop for removing certain objects from the canvas or a picture, so to speak. So yeah, let's just select the clone stamp tool. We're going to remove some certain things. And let's double click on a brush here. And you can, I have the soft brush selected, but um, you can right click to pull up the brush selection, by the way. And you can change the diameter of the brush, sliding this left to right, and the hardness of the brush. And we're just going to up the diameter a bit on this soft brush. Just enough, really. You know. And that's it let's double click here confirm that and now to select something how this works is you alt click in an area that you want to select from any pixels that you want to select and we'll left click here where there seems to be you know some cleanness and we will actually up the diameter there I don't know how that got smaller but there we go let's left click there of course and we're gonna alt left click to make that selection and then we're gonna left click wherever we wanna remove those things and you just gotta keep in mind you know the area at which you're selecting you know you gotta keep in mind the shadows you can't select from a shadow and you know kinda put it over here I'll show you that does not work <laughs> but um yeah you know you just however much time you wanna spend really <coughs> removing those things is gonna eventually be for the better and uh... you know maybe just get rid of the stuff here on the nose just cover that up a little bit you know and uh... i think that's really good that's fine that's really all i wanted to show you with the clone stamp tool it's a very simple tool but it's very useful for removing things and uh... <clears throat> now oh i forgot to mention at the beginning of this tutorial you'll see here i have two layers all this is it was a photo that i opened up and i deleted the background layer and i named it main so this is our main layer and you can see that is i can toggle the one we edited here with the clone stamp tool and that is fairly neat pretty awesome so what I'm gonna do actually is now that I have a cleaner version of this photo I'm gonna delete my old main layer I'm gonna call this one main and then I'm gonna hit control J on my keyboard to copy that and uh, this is what we're gonna do we're gonna now s extract whoever this handsome individual might be from the photo and this is how we're gonna do it we're gonna select the pen tool and we're gonna go over to the paths tab and this is a very very useful tab in Photoshop. <coughs> Excuse me. And you collect the or you click the create new path button. And there you go, you have your path. Now, here's what we're going to do. We we have our pen tool selected. We're going to extract all this area and just have the guy. So let's get to it. You know, sometimes things like this can it can be rather tedious. But what you do is you can put on some music or something like that, maybe some trance music, something to get you going. And uh, unfortunately, I cannot do that right now because I'm recording. And that would probably not turn out so well. Probably not turn out so well. And. Uh, yeah, we're just going to come back over here, and then kind of come down here, 
And you know, really, as much time as you want to spend on extracting this person with the pen tool. Because that's all we're doing. We're just clicking and dragging, making a path around this person. That's really that simple. Click, drag to your liking. I told you this, this part is uh, pretty tedious, but music really it does help, I promise. So, there you go. And now we're going to come up and around. It doesn't matter at this point. It just has to be outside of the canvas. And you link the points or link the selection by clicking on your first point. There you got it. Bam. And our selection is done. And now we can pretty much extract this guy. So what we're going to do is um, delete the background that he's on. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we're going to delete the background. So we're going to get the selection current. So we're going to control click on the path. Just control left click. And there you have it. There's our selection. And to prove it to you, just to prove it to you, I'm going to hit alt backspace and I'm going to fill it. And there's our selection. Very neat selection. It didn't take that long. And even if I so chose, <laughs> I could have taken longer and gotten an even neater selection. <coughs> but you know, YouTube 10 minute constraints. So I'm probably not even going to make it to the 10 minute. Or I'm probably actually going to go past that. But such is life in the tropics. So we have that now. I'm just going to hit Control-Alt-Z to undo. And here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to hit the Delete key. And we're going to delete the background on that layer. And remember, the layer is still there because we have one below it. So we're going to select our main layer there and uh, the layer right below it. And we're going to delete that too. And now he's completely extracted transparent background and all you could pretty much put this person wherever the heck you wanted to put them and uh, yeah we're gonna create a new layer for our background though and we're gonna bring it down here we're just gonna click and drag and we're gonna rename this background and uh, let's create a gradient background you could make this an image <laughs> if you chose but we're just gonna do a gradient here nice little gradient and uh, that's that for that. That's that for that. And we're going to go up here to the main copy image here. And that's pretty much it for selections. You know, you have your, your path and your pen tool. And, you know, you control click to make the selection. And that selection is still there. It doesn't disappear. That's what's really nice about this. You can have a whole collection of selections. Collection of selections. But, uh, yeah. So... Now I'm actually going to show you another very useful effect if you wanted to make this pretty cool and smooth. With our pen tool, we can actually go up here with the pen tool and we're going to make one more selection. Let's go to the paths, create a new path there. And we're going to just select out here pretty much the face or facial area of this individual. and we're gonna bring it up here just maybe a little bit around that ear and it doesn't matter if you cross over here I'll show you why what we're gonna do and just you know go under the eyes and up over here and down and it really is that simple just clicking and dragging right and now we have our selection here so like we did before we're just gonna control click there's our selection and we're gonna go to filter or I'm sorry, not filter, excuse me, select, right next to filter. And we're going to go to modify and feather. And in this case, it varies on the actual size of your image. In this case, this was a big original photo that came from my camera. So we're going to hit OK with 20 pixels. And uh, it might change. It could be anywhere from 15 to, you know, 50 pixels or 10 pixels or 5 pixels. It just depends on the size of the image. You figure out what works best. And uh, again, to show you the selection we have now feather, I hit Alt Backspace and you can see the feathered selection. It's a lot softer, a lot more flowing. Just enough.